An international fact-finding mission to investigate plastic in our oceans got underway from Plymouth today. An all-women crew has embarked on the first leg of a two-year sailing voyage to carry out scientific research in a £3 million partnership with the city's university. The money has come through sponsorship and contributions from the guest crews. The journey will be done in 30 stages, circumnavigating the globe. Jane Douglas reports. Then this is where we keep most of the fresh veggies. Preparing for the journey of a lifetime. These women are scientists, researchers, adventurers, all in pursuit of the truth about plastic in our oceans. 300 guest crew members are taking part in what's being called the XX Expedition Round the World Voyage, 10 for each of its legs. The mission's founder is Emily Penn. She began her quest back in 2014 after witnessing plastic pollution for herself. The more I work on this issue, the more I realise that there's no silver bullet solution to solve plastic pollution. Uh, there's not one answer, but the good news is there are hundreds of answers. But to achieve that, we need people working from every angle. So on board we have scientists, artists, teachers, designers, policy makers, industry leaders, all the people that we need to come to the table with the solutions. Some 10,000 women from around the world applied to take part in Emily Penn's XX expedition. One of them is Natalie Fox, a surf and yoga instructor from Newquay, who's also doing a master's in sustainability at the Eden Project. I'm very passionate about this subject. Uh, I love the ocean. I've been surfing for 16 years and it always brings me to amazing places and amazing environments but there hasn't been one spot where I've surfed where there's been no plastic unfortunately it's everywhere now. The route will cover 38,000 nautical miles using cutting-edge scientific research led by Dr Winnie Courtney Jones at Plymouth University. I'll be sailing on the second leg which goes from the Azores to Antigua. So that's 25 days at sea across the North Atlantic gyra. And these are these large accumulation zones that are meant to trap plastics. So we, yeah, we'll be looking at the surface waters and in the water columns to find out just how much is there and how these currents are influencing that distribution. Setting sail in fine weather and fair seas from Plymouth today for the first leg of their voyage bound for the Azores. And the first challenge, to adapt to the cosy environment on board while navigating whatever the weather throws at them. Their mission, to inspire a generation. Jane Douglas, BBC Spotlight, for them. Good luck to them, hope they have a safe journey and from an expedition.